Guys, I'm about to take you. We're in the Compton area now. Actually, we're in the Nutty Block area. Um, I'm going to try to locate this Welcome to Compton sign that uh, is down here, I believe, on uh, Alondra. And from there, after that, I will be taking you guys through the different areas, like Southside. We'll go through Southside first. That's the area where Orlando and Keefe D were from uh, in some of their hangouts over in that area. And from Southside, we're going to go over to uh, the Piru area of the Luda's Park Pyrus and the Ma Pyrus, their area and their hangouts. Also, uh, where Suge live, Buntry and James McDonald and all of them uh, in most of their hangouts. So we'll be doing that um, as, I t uh, as we travel uh, through Compton. I'll probably be pointing out some other areas or hoods as they call them uh, before we get to the respective ones that we really want to get to. This is where the car wash was. If you notice I'm across this light here and if you notice to your left all this blank now and the signs up is because Compton High School was right there all that territory over there was Compton High School they have leveled the whole campus because they're gonna rebuild Compton High School uh, from the ground they're gonna rebuild it all back over there now right here where you see this pole and this coming of uh, 2023 that's where the car wash was. They done tore around the whole area. The car wash was right at this corner, right here. Right to your right here, and this area is closed up as well, is Mom's Burger. This is the location where Orlando first saw the brothers from Point Corner Pocket at the car wash. And then that's when, at that point, I subsequently found out that he was here. He saw the two brothers from... Uh, corner pocket that owed his brother or, or, or owed his uncle Keefe D some money or something and so he wanted to deal with it so I'm finding out that what he did Orlando he went over to Al's grandmother's house which is over here in South High and got Al and they came back over here when they came back over into this area after he picked up Al he they drove I'm making a U-turn to drive they drove past the car wash. They went past the car wash, which is right here, and they went. They went and they parked right here. Al was driving. Orlando was the passenger. Right here was the car wash. It's all torn down now, but it was the car wash, and they sat right at this position. And this is where Orlando got out of the car, and confronted uh, the brothers, the three guys that were shot and stuff but as he got out and confronted him and got to yelling the shootout started Orlando started shooting at them they returned fire at least two of them had guns and returned fire three of them were struck two of them were killed one survived Orlando was apparently struck as well so he got back in the car on the passenger side I don't know I don't remember whether Al had got out of the car at all but uh Orlando either got back into the car or fell back in the car wounded. Orlando. Al got behind the wheel and then this is, he couldn't go straight because Compton High uh, campus was closed. Uh, they turned here on Coco Street and they start driving. Al start driving with wounded Orlando in the passenger seat and they start driving to the corner. And they proceeded this way. By that time, I guess he can hear sirens because I know I was coming in my uh, vehicle, my undercover vehicle from the police lot down the street. But he kind of like parked here and got out of the car. He got out of his car. And as I approached with my lights on and everything, because it was an undercover car, but it had bells and whistles on it. And he was like, he literally got in the street, I did, and flagged me down because he knew my car, you know. And, uh, soon as he did, I kind of jammed my brakes on right there, stopped, saw the car that they were in, noticed the passenger door was open, and I was frantically 
hollering, Reg, Reg, they shot Lando. They shot Lando. I immediately knew I was responding to shots fires call. And you can kind of hear shots on the real lot of the police department. I'll show you where it was. But he, uh, uh, Michael, as soon as I saw that, I knew the car wash was just about a block or two away. I figured that was the scene of the, uh, the call we were responding to. But when he said Lando was shot, I immediately surmised that they were involved. So I hooked Michael up right quick, walked him around his car, walked him around as my backup was coming. And as I walked him around, we got to the passenger door. I looked at Orlando with the door open and I knew he was gravely, if not dead at the time, he was near death. I immediately called for paramedics and stuff, walked him back a little bit away from the car. And that's when my help showed up. Uh, couple of my gang guys, Richardson and Aguirre, they popped up and then I think eventually the, uh, the chief rolled up, Yuri Taylor rolled up, but I immediately said, I got to get to the scene. So I turned Orlando, I mean, uh, Al, Michael Duro, I turned him over to my two officers to take to the station as they, the other officers waited for the paramedics to show up. The paramedics apparently showed up. I wasn't here because I took off went around the corner to go to the scene of the shooting, which was at the car wash. But uh, that's kind of how things happen right in here. We're coming down from the scene where Orlando, correction, Al, Michael DeRoe flagged me down. But I rode, once we, I can hear shots, but at the same time, I can hear uh, dispatch putting out on, over the radio, a gunshot victims at the car wash over on, on Alameda correction on Alondra so I start responding from the rear lot right in front of you in that brown building right past these trees is the rear lot of the police department I, I don't recall if I was leaving the station or coming out of the station when I heard the shots and when I heard uh, the dispatcher over my radio saying gunshot victims at the car wash over there on Alondra on West Alondra um, at the time, it's Compton Sheriff Station now, but at that time, it was Compton Police Department. And this wall wasn't up here like this. This retainer and this gate and all were put in by the Sheriff Department when they came in 2000. But back in 93 or 92, when this happened, this was Compton Police Department real lot. And this is where I rolled out of uh, to head toward the gunshot victims. A lot of people didn't want to believe the scenario we had that day about him heading back to uh, Southside. They was figuring that he should have been trying to go to the hospital, which Martin Luther King would have been the nearest one, the emergency room, but that was going the other way. He, as a matter of fact, I did talk to him uh, after he was arrested. He told me he was trying to get to the hood to get some help for Lando.